I've really been enjoying ground forces again since I've moved down from tier 4, late tier 4, early tier 5, back to tier 3. I'm back in the Stug. I got yelled at, or not yelled at, but somebody tried to correct me when I said, oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? It's like Dukes of Hazard, Panzer Edition. Anyway, so I tried to say, I say Stug because I read it as a stupid American. I butcher everything I read German. I did a little research, and evidently supposed to be like Stug. I hope that's closer than Stug. Stug? Anyway. That's probably wrong too. I love the same regardless, even if I can't properly say its name. And of course, it has a longer name than Stug, but. Stug, whatever. Fuck. Death Machine. That's what we're gonna call it. But this is a map I really like. If I can play it earlier in the day, I get these matches with a bunch more players, which makes it a lot more fun. Unfortunately, at night, prime time, I'm seeing like four on four matches, and that's just horrible. These bigger matches seem to be a lot more fun, so I try to play in the mornings or early afternoons if I can. That KV-1 is out there. So let's see if I can... Completely different warfare than the Poland map I just uploaded where I'm shooting at. I don't even know how far that is. That's probably upward towards five, 600 meters maybe. But... Just trying to range it. That's the hardest part of that black cloud of smoke in front of me. I can see if it goes high or low, but I can't. Well, that one bounced. Hit the, that seemed to hit his track, so that might have been a ricochet. I'll try to shoot in the same place. That one seemed to go high right, maybe, or high or low right. Oh, he's backing up now. That's a hit. I don't know where, though. Hmm. I haven't unlocked a new shell to this thing yet, too, so I'm having penetration problems at long range, which is absolutely limiting my effectiveness in maps like this. Oh, there we go, never mind, what the fuck am I talking about? And I'm shot from the left. What the fuck, was that artillery or that SC-122 bounce a shell to me? Where the hell is he? Oh fuck, that was a friendly, sorry, my bad. Where the, is he in the trench with them? Okay, let's um, let's get closer. Let's try to find out what the hell's going on over here. Also, enjoying my team is completely oblivious to anything happening to their left flank. I know there's a lot of Russians to the right, but come on, guys, we have a map. When you see something that far down to the left of the map, turn around. Let's get closer. Let's do a little charge on this SU-122. Or was it a 152? Duke. Gotta keep practicing that. I really wish, I know they like poured these from like Wings of Prey or something, I really hope they cleaned up those models with infantry. It's cool they're there, I just wish they had a little bit better modeling. But, you know me, I gotta criticize something, right? SU-122, okay. Not as scary as 152. Not firing a fucking Volkswagen Beetle at me. This is like on the edge of the map. Lobbing shells. Well, that was this one shot and he missed, so I can lob shots over hills too. Let's go to the left. If I hit this little depression to the left, that means he's gonna come up and out to try to kill me. A little trick I know from playing Armor 2. Put yourself in a depression, it makes it very hard for them to hit you. I guess you call it the hold down position if we want to get technical. There he comes, and let's wait. The trick to killing these things is I like a good broadside shot in that flat armor, or you wait to hit the cannon breach like that, and then you back up and wait for them to kill themselves. Like so, because SU 122, SU 152, every time I get hit in the barrel of the breach or anything that has to do with that area of the tank. You always kill yourself. Kind of happy to see that others have that problem too. Not gonna lie. Let's see. And I don't want to invite. I'm I'm playing. Um. 
Holy shit, those guys are really close, aren't they? Let's do a little flank. A little Stugen flanking. Just made English words sound like German. It's time to Stugen flanking. I gotta stop playing German tanks. Maybe I should go back to Russian tanks so I can perfect my Russian accent again. Let's see, let's put him a little... There's the cannon breach, and I'm not scared of him. But I do like to put a second round. Let's go for that driver's hatch. That's a good spot to kill a crew. There we go. It's gunner, driver, commander, machine gunner. So he's done the water. Let's go for the barrel again, because I don't want to... Ah, it works. Sorry. Right. Good enough for government work. And let's go for the back of the turret on him. See if we can get an ammo rack. Alright. That's good. We got three. I'm pretty happy with this so far. Move up to the line here and shoot back into the valley like we were previously. Ooh, a T-34 down there. The Russians think they can just go through the valley of this Dug with no punishment. Fucking bush. Of course, the bush is going to get me killed. Oh, he's got a cute little uh, outpost there. Never mind. <laughs> yep, fear the stoog. Fear the stoog. And KV-1. That's a bot. Whatever, we'll take it. Let's see if we can get that bot over there. Ooh, KV-2, way out there. Target undamaged. Like I said, now I'm trying to hit shit out of my range, I think, again. Yeah. A, I can't really see where those rounds are falling, and B, I don't think I have penetration. If I can nick that barrel, though, he'll kill himself. Like, yes, oh, there we go. Suspension. I will make his crew terribly uncomfortable. Ooh, a T-34 on the right flank. Let's see if we can stop his advance. <laughs> I freaking love this thing. Ah, uh, Stug life. God, it's just... Boy, anything at that range dies instantly. Go back to the KV-2, I'll bounce shells off them all fucking weak. That's short. That was horribly short. That was horribly short. Let's keep making drift. I captured the flag? Or zone, sorry, not flag, zone. Oh my gosh. Alright. Here's a little exploit that, uh, Gaijin was like, this is an exploit, don't use it, but it's been in a. Ever since they implemented getting ammo and repairs off the uh, capture point, they still haven't fixed it. So if you're sitting on a point and you repair, hit you to repair, you'll get ammo back, right? And repairs. If you keep shooting while you're on the ammo point, you never run out of ammo. So, I'm just gonna sit here and become a full auto stug now. Yeah, that's an exploit. I, I don't. Just showing you guys, you know, it, I, I would say stop using it, but God, I know I've known about this one since like May, I think, early May, that this has been happening and they still haven't patched it out, so. It's in the game, players are gonna use it. I hate to say that, but we left it in the game for half a year now, or over a half a year. I fucking KV1, I cannot kill the KVs. Just gonna keep doing full auto stug in his face. That sounds sexual. Come on. Of course, my accuracy is that of. Sounds like something just bombed those Wellington that flew by. I really need those upgraded shells for this thing. Target undamaged. I'm about to, like, hook a grenade to a swallow. An African swallow, in case anybody watch my, my python. And send it over there. Oh god, the Russians are flanking the right flank. And I'm repairing, or reloading. I can't move, I gotta cancel that. Come on, come on. 
Oh, it's on. Eh, welcome to the kill field. SC-122, dead. That's where I like to shoot those things, right in the side like that. T-34. I think the KV-1 just hit me, but we're not, we don't, we don't care anymore. We can't even kill them anyway. Fuck, why do we... It's like I know better, but I still want to shoot at the front of a KV-1. Rear of a T-34, that's hot. I'll, I'll shoot at that all day. Give me your engine and fuel tanks, baby. Right there, he's on fire. Alright, KV-1's dead. Another T-34, come on. Somebody else appears to kill him, I didn't get a kill assist, but I'm happy. That rush is dead. People on my left now. I still want to kill his KV-1. Can I have like a... Can I lob a Pandra Shrek across the field or something at this point? Ow, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Look at the little stook in the little hole next to me. Sorry. Get excited by stupid... What the fuck? I-15 problems, anyway. Uh, so I think that was, what, five kills, maybe? Six kills? I don't even know. Seven kills? Nice. And 35,000 lions. Seven kills, two bots, three assists, 35,000 lions. Yeah. Yeah.